So it feels like in the recent past, some of you might have went through what a tower moment. Maybe um, this is with a partner. This could also be with a family member. So maybe someone, it feels like you found out some information about a relationship and it, it kind of flipped your, it flipped your whole world upside down. I was seeing the three of cups in reverse. So it feels like a relationship that's ran its course. It feels like there's been some stagnant energy in the relationship for a while. I was seeing the queen of want, the queen of swords. So this is something that that's pushing you to, to be better on your own, more to more to more to state, more bring more stability in your life. Um, it's just teaching you things like you don't need anybody else to make you happy. I'm seeing that some of you might trying to hold, might be trying to hold on to the to the relationship. It feels like you're being stubborn about breaking away from the partner. You're definitely being guided away from the partner. I'm seeing that some of you have, have a decision. You have to make a blind decision. Do you leave this? Do you leave the toxic partner? And when we say toxic, it's toxic, right? So things have have evolved in the relationship where it doesn't feel like there's any fixing the situation. I'm seeing the four become three. So maybe this is like a four family household. Now it's gonna be a three family household. This could also be a place, maybe you felt stable in the relationship and now that this information has come to light, now you're feeling like a place where you have to, to you're gonna to have to jump out there on your own and that scares you. It's vulnerability is what you're afraid of. I'm seeing there be a lot of resistance to this change in your life. You need to work on that. Work on breaking free from doing, you know, from remaining in a situation that's ran its course. It feels like you're holding on to the relationship and you're not learning from it, right? Every relationship, I'm seeing two, three, four, it's a learning experience for you. You're meant to learn from this. This is a karmic relationship. You're not meant to be with this person forever. I'm seeing that if you stay with this person, their toxicity becomes your toxicity, right? Because you are, you know, the, the energy that, you be, that you're around constantly. It feels like it feels like you're just kind of scared you're scared to jump out there on your own into the unknown like you don't know what's going to happen you don't know how it's going to play out make sure you're trusting yourself you're trusting your higher self and you're trusting your intuition through the process i'm seeing the world on the bottom of the deck and the world speaks on this is a if you make the right choices to move forward this is going to be a big a big portal for you to walk through in your life right a lot of change and a lot of growth is going to come from this from you accepting that this relationship has ran its course and it's time to move on. What you're not seeing on the other side is another energy. If that's what you want, there's another energy for you. This is also beca about becoming um, stable and secure on your own to where you don't need somebody else. I'm seeing that there need, there's a period that I'm seeing that there's a little space between this, this relationship that you're going through now or you just got out of and then you meeting the guy that you're looking for, all right? So you don't settle in the relationship that you're in. You can move forward. That it's, it's okay to let go of the past. It doesn't You can't look at like the memories that you had and the feelings that you've had because you're just looking at the comfortability. You're not looking at the uncomfortability, which is where I'm seeing you find your ideal partner, okay? And again, this is somebody that's gonna bring balance to your life. Spiritual growth, emotional growth. You're not looking ahead. You're not looking at what's ahead of you. You're looking behind you. Yeah. So I, I'm seeing that this, this, this next phase of your life, it's this about you walking away from this relationship. This is both of you. This is a, the, an ideal partner. This is a soulmate twin flame energy, right?
So this feels like a test that you're going through. I'm seeing that when you meet your partner, it opens up it opens up many doors and avenues for you. Many doors, many new paths. So when we make certain decisions, think of it like this, some doors are always open to us and some doors are closed. But when we make different decisions, the other paths open up, other doors open up. It also teaches you to engage in the world more, to ask bigger questions about your life. You need to make sure that you're really working on hard on not thinking of the past and not thinking about how much harder things are gonna get on you, okay? You need to more focus on what you have and be grateful for what you have, all right? Because this is you looking at your world the wrong way, right? This is looking at, uh, why is this going, why is this happening to me? Why, why am I going through this? This is you spending time thinking about the past, thinking about um, past things that have happened, the past relationship, why you could be spending time how to, uh, working on how to create your, your future self, your future relationship, your future simula simulation. Yeah. I'm seeing the three of cups. So it feels like also that you're gonna be meeting some new friends. Yeah, I got you. So this is also about bringing you out of your shell, right? So it feels like you've, you know, you've been in this relationship. You haven't spent much time, you know, engaging with other people. I'm seeing this is this this, this is a, por a door, a, a portal, a doorway that opens up and allows you to meet new people. It allows you to to meet, manifest the relationship that you've always wanted. You need to get better at juggling many things, all right? More responsibility. You need to become okay with more responsibility. I feel like, I feel like that this more responsive, the, when you accept the responsibility that you have, it allows you to grow in ways, helps you become a better lover, a better parent, a better mother, a better father. Feels like there's some imbalances also with the friends you have around you. There's some clearing that needs to take place. Maybe you need to, to, to get root, uproot people that's been in your life um, for a long period of time, but they don't contribute to your highest good. Maybe you feel like you've just been attached to them for a while, you've had memories with them, and it's like that same old comfortable, familiar feeling. You need to break free from that. It's like a chain, it feels like a chain that's holding you back, holding you, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a chain that's holding you back to the past and to the bad things that's happened to you, to you in your life. You need to stop looking back at the past, make peace with it, and start focusing on, on the forward progress, right? Focus on grateful, being grateful for what you have now. Start seeing, the, env envisioning in your mind the life that you want, whether that's a partner, whether that's a car, whether that's stability in a house, a new job. Whatever that is, you need to be vision, like very visual with what it is you're trying to create. It feels like you're not even looking in the future, you're just kind of living in the moment while living in the past because you're definitely focused on the past. You got to break free from that. Yeah. The current simulation you're running, that's, that's your goal, right? To break free from that energy, all right? That's your number one priority right now, is to get that other person away from you and out of your mind so that new things can come into your life. All right, I'm gonna leave the reading there. If you guys like the reading and you wanna get a personal, shoot me a message. I'm gonna put the link down, there, down in the description below. All right, you guys be blessed and enjoy your immortality.